I see what old chaps and chap, it's Game Chef and Barty here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows, and I dare say we are now bringing you news of a very big announcement, fellows, and this one is really big. It seems Microsoft had a rather large conference today, and in that conference, aside from mentioning their newest operating system, Windows 10, they have presented an absolutely huge announcement, haven't they, old chap? Yes, indeed, they have. Have. And if it was April, you might think it was an April Fool's joke, but it certainly is not. I see. They are introducing a new technology yes. called Windows Holographic, which means augmented reality experience, in other words. I see, indeed. And you may have first thing, Fellows, well, augmented reality, we've already seen that with the Oculus Rift and on the 3DS, but this one is different, Fellows. You see, it uses a headset called the HoloLens, apparently. Most certainly does. And yes, indeed, when we think headset, you see, you may automatically be thinking, oh, oh yes, uh, Oculus Rift or similar, but Microsoft have gone way beyond that one. Yes. And so don't think that, because unlike other VR headsets, this actually adds holograms to the real world around you. What? So, oh yes, so this is basically the closest we have yet seen to the Star Trek holodeck for real. Are you serious, old chap? It's really breaking technology that we just haven't seen before. Well, I have to say, we've reported on a few things in our time on YouTube here, but this is absolutely amazing, old boy. I, we've never seen anything like this before. This, this is a first, old chap. Most certainly is, yes. I mean, they've just pulled it out the bag at their conference today, and it's absolutely amazing technology which, as far as I can see, just hasn't seen, been seen before, apart from the television. And they, they've really made, obviously, very, very special efforts to ensure this is kept under wraps, because this will have taken the technology world by storm, I should think. People will have said, God, this be, what is this? Oh, uh, oh, almost so, It's yes. quite incredible, I say. Oh, yes, there have been knee jerks all round over this one, and no doubt they've kept it under, well, how they've kept it under wraps this, this long, I don't know. They must have been working on it for ages. I don't think anyone can say they saw this coming at the Windows conference today, old chap. Uh, most certainly not. So do we have some more details on this amazing bit of kit, old boy? Well, yes, now, apparently it's a fully self-contained computer. It has a built-in CPU, GPU, and HPU, a new word for a holographic processing unit, that is. A so, holographic processing unit? Most certainly. So, uh, for those of you who aren't sure, we've had the central processing unit, your CPU, your um, a graphics processing unit, your GPU, and now we've got a HPU, or the holographic processing unit. New jargon detected. Uh, most certainly. Now, the dark visor has a see-through display. Really? Yes, indeed. So you can see the world around you with the holograms. Oh, wow, I say, that's amazing. It most certainly is. And there's built-in spatial sound, so you can hear the holograms behind you. Ah, that's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And it also has environmental and motion sensors. So this incredible technology, Phil, just to recap, as you no doubt have been seeing from the pictures so far, actually puts holograms of the world around you. And, of course, those holograms could potentially be anything. It really is a virtual reality experience, and no doubt many of you have perhaps envisaged or seen ahead in the future this kind of thing as being a possibility, but it's not until now that we've actually seen this technology for real and potentially on the market soon. It's quite extraordinary, old chap. Well, most certainly is. I mean, we've seen this sort of thing perhaps in films, and as you say, Star Trek and things, but actually to see it you know, announced just like this is, is quite amazing, and I might say extremely exciting as well. Very exciting, old chap. Now, apparently, the hollow and the uh, Windows holographic are going to be priced to both the man in the street and also the corporate user, and it'll be launching sometime in the Windows 10 time frame. That's the new operating system. Most certainly. So do we know when that's going to be? We don't exactly have an uh, ideal time frame as yet. We do know it's going to be quite soon, though, because, of course, this was the big conference for Windows 10 and the HoloLens. Now, apparently, Microsoft have also been showing this to certain game devs, have they not? Now, they may certainly have, yes, indeed. And when you say price for the man in the street and corporate user as well, means it should be affordable. Quite, quite what that means, what the difference is going to be, obviously we don't know at the moment. No. But nevertheless, it's going to be there and be coming along with Windows 10. We think, old chap, yes. Presumably, you may have to have Windows 10 in order to actually use it, although that remains to be seen. Yes, indeed. Now, the Take-Two Interactive CEO has termed his time with the set as extraordinary. I say, indeed. Well, that, that's quite... Quite something, old chap. It, it seems Microsoft have certainly been showing their proud baby to certain companies, but perhaps not all as yet. Well, now, certainly. Also, there's quite a crucial point here, and no doubt many of you will have been asking this question. Of course, Microsoft happen to own a certain blocky game now, old chap. They and I must do. ask you, um, do we have any link between uh, perhaps the said blocky game and this piece of kit? Well, indeed. Now, if you weren't just excited enough about this, then you'll certainly, well, this will do it for you, no doubt. 
Microsoft also showed this amazing new headset working with Minecraft. What? That's exactly right. A working man, with Minecraft? Certainly. A man was actually playing Minecraft in his living room with a full 3D holographic projection of the blocky world all around him in the living room. Are you serious, old chap? Absolutely. Have a look at this. That is extraordinary. This is, I, I don't quite know how to describe this, old chap. This, this, is, this is revolutionary, old boy. Well, most certainly. There we have my, uh, Minecraft. It is Minecraft, yes. Most certainly, of course. It's their game now uh, being used with this uh, well, breaking technology. This is a huge development video, and of course, perhaps now light bulbs have turned on inside many people's heads as to why Microsoft was so keen to acquire the blocky building game. Of course, it all makes sense now. This is really a way to blow the doors off the competition and also introduce it with a huge existing property that's already got millions and millions of loyal players, Minecraft. And now you can actually play Minecraft holographically, videos. That is amazing. It, it's a wonder of the modern world, Elby. Well, it most certainly is possibly, possibly the biggest news we've ever said for Minecraft, I should think. Well, we thought it was very big news when Microsoft acquired them, but I have to say this is even bigger. Well, most certainly is, and it's a very, very clever move uh, by Microsoft, and you've got to hand it to them, um, most certainly. Now, obviously, uh, we presume that they, they had this plan, perhaps, before they bought the thing, they probably thought, hang on, we can use this on here, and we've already got a customer base of millions of people that will no doubt want to play it. Yes. Because it's a smart move by them, it's a double smart move for which they deserve credit. Because yes. most certainly, you see, they're going to, it looks like they're going to uh, introduce this with their Windows 10. Yes. So therefore, it could well be, we don't know, but it could well be that in order to play this, you're going to need Windows 10. So what uh -huh. a fabulous idea, not, you know, way, not only to sell your new, lots and lots and lots of your new technology here that you've bought into the market, Market, but also, of course, to sell what has been termed by some people a bit controversial, your Windows 10. Well, indeed. It's a double winner. It's a very clever idea, and you have to hand it to Microsoft. As Bertie said, perhaps they've been flagging a bit recently, a bit behind the competition, but this time they really pulled the trick out the bag, I have to say. And no doubt any, any Microsoft fans among you will, of course, be very pleased about this news. Now, also, the HoloLens itself, the unit, is completely standalone and doesn't need any PCs or phones to work at all. Well, that's absolutely amazing. I mean, I thought I thought perhaps, you know, you had to have the computer on, connected wirelessly or something. But they're saying it doesn't need any PCs to work, so uh, perhaps you somehow load the games onto the headset or something. I don't know. Maybe it's cloud-based. Who knows? But Could we do be. know, of course, it has a built-in CPU, GPU, and HPU. And also, apparently, Microsoft even worked with NASA on the project. That's right, the, uh, the space program, of course. And it represents, if you ask me, the most exciting announcement of the year so far, and for sure. Oh, um, so it does, yes indeed. I mean, we just haven't seen anything like this before, and this is exactly, I think, what a lot of gamers have dreamed about and things like this, to see this type of thing actually happen for real, as it were. It's very rather, exciting. Yes, indeed, rather than just on some fiction or something. That's right, old boy. Now, perhaps, hypothetically, this may have been what they showed some of the Mojang chaps when they visited Microsoft HQ, because, of course, the Minecraft demo we've seen must have surely had some input from Mojang. I, I can't think of any other way, old chap. Well, we don't know that for sure. It's possible, most certainly. Did um, Jeb see this? Did not see this? Uh, well, not not certainly, but Mr. Jeb may have seen it, old boy. Um, uh, well, uh, yes, we don't know. Uh, certainly, if they had them, they would have no doubt been NDA'd up to the hilt over it. I for think sure. so. Um, uh, most certainly. So Perhaps was, that's what the NDAs were about. Well, we don't know. They certainly wouldn't have been able to say anything. They may have had some input. They may not have. But whichever way you look at it, it's it's for real that uh, Minecraft is going to be, uh, you know, uh, usable on this platform for those that have it. And it's, uh, it, it's, it's extremely exciting. So creepers can virtually explode near you very soon, old chap. Well, yes, exactly. I mean, how, it, how it'll play out, we don't know. And of course, how you move things around, we don't know. So, yes. um, you know, the chap in the picture there just had his hand sort of pointing out. But we don't know how you'll actually move a block or craft something. I know. Why don't you walk up to the block in your world and actually pick the thing up and put it down? How fun would that be, old chap? Well, it, very, very fun. Now, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with that, how it's going to play out, or whether we're just looking at a preliminary thing that they've just put out here, and they're going to put the mechanics of actually moving blocks around and playing Minecraft in afterwards we don't know but we'll have to wait and see but nevertheless this is breaking stuff not just for Microsoft and the whole gaming world I think but also of course for all uh, Minecraft fans uh, and, and people who have just been dreaming about this sort of thing to come past they're going to be absolutely extremely excited now I should imagine. Yes Fidel's we have to hand it to Microsoft and Mr Gates on this one they really have stolen the show with this new technology this time they've done it and other companies will be kicking themselves no doubt that they weren't first. Oh there's no doubt about it at all the other companies the competition here the Sony's certainly 
personally, Nintendo will be kicking themselves that they didn't come up with this. Particularly Nintendo, because it's the sort of thing that they they sort of you would normally sort of think there's, there's something they do. That's right. But normally, uh, as they call the doc show, their innovation usually they're first to the board with this type type of thing, first to the table. But it seems this time Microsoft have stolen everyone's thunder. Well, exactly. So I mean, a lot of the competition is you know top tech guys, etc., so forth will no doubt be uh, on the firing line there for why then and the heck they didn't come up with this first. Well, indeed, old boy. But they are feeling some very exciting news about the HoloLens and Windows holographic. This has been Game Chef and Birdie bringing you some truly breaking news, you know. It most certainly is. I mean, let us know what you think about this. No doubt you'll be extremely excited to play it um, and will want to get your hands on it as soon as you can. But yes, let us know what you think. This is absolutely one well, it's wonderful and rather exciting. Well, no, extremely exciting news. It's the, it's the biggest announcement of the year so far. My word, it's going to take quite something to top this old chap. This, yes. this is extraordinary, but well, there are videos. Thank you, Captain Jonas, I say. I'm going to see you once more the next exciting on my word. Until then. Mm-hmm.